Welcome to the Cypress, a five bedroom, three bathroom, over 3,100 square feet of living space in this amazing two-story floor plan. Now in the next few minutes, I'm gonna take you on a tour so you get to know everything about the floor plan in addition to all the buyer incentive package offered by MainView on this new amazing construction home and how we were able to support a buyer secure $40,000 worth of concession towards the purchase of this home. Come on in. So as we make our way into the foyer, one of the things that really got me attracted about this floor plan is the space between the walls, four feet apart from one another. And there is plenty of room to set up a console with your decor. And right on my left is the main level bedroom. And the main level bedroom has a closet uh, with two bifold doors. So we have about two and a half feet on the depth and on the width, seven feet. We transition now into the ensuite bathroom. And this type of bedroom was envisioned for multi-generational families. So either you have someone in the family who is visiting and is planning to have a long stay with you. So this will make a right fit. Uh, they don't have to be walking up and down the stairs. And the convenience part of this is the ensuite bathroom. It's a full bathroom. You have a frameless shower glass door on my left. And right behind me is the sink, is the barn sink that is beautifully set up to match the color scheme that was designed for this floor plan. And on my left, we have the coat closet with a seven feet tall door and also a top shelf with plenty of room to hang all of your coats. And follow me as we now transition into the grand room. We have a beautiful gas powered uh, fireplace with a switch on the left. Also, instead of having the TV, your flat screen, up about mid midsection, they envision the TV being at the lower half uh, with your outlets and for your cable TV ready to be hooked up. 10 feet ceiling with your recess lights. So we have a total of nine lights. And right behind me, the floor to ceiling is sliding glass doors, which helps with the natural light, especially days like this where you don't have as much of that sunlight. And we transition into the outdoor signature patio with a Trex deck, which makes it very easy to maintain. Now let's head over to the kitchen. We have this beautiful chandelier. We count about eight light bulbs that are illuminating the whole dining area. And on my right, we have the Grand Island, about eight by four, uh, with a three centimeter quartz and an undermount sink with an easy to use pull down faucet. Plenty of flat panel cabinets right behind me. So we count two on the north side of the kitchen and two on the south side of the kitchen with your high power range hood and your five burner gas cooktop. Other than having the undermount sink, we also have the dishwasher, which nowadays most of the buttons for the dishwasher will be on top of the panel. Uh, and it's easy to operate as well since most of these dishwashers now do have a self-cleaning system. More cabinet space around the island. Um, as we see here, we have more shelving, and more things that you could store, pots, pans, uh, you name it. Before we transition into one of my favorite parts in the entire floor plan, let's take a look at the convection oven. We have a convection oven on the lower side uh, of the panel and then your microwave oven with a digital display right on top. More cabinet space, you know, for you to store your goodies. Now we transition into the butler's pantry with a splashback wall, which illuminates the interior and plenty of countertop space. We got one, two, and three levels. Plus on my right side, we have four more levels of shelving. You won't be running out of space for sure. 
Now, as we're transitioning to the second level, one of the things that I would have liked to see is a skylight, because out of the entire floor plan, this is gonna be the spot where you're gonna have the least natural light. In fact, you know, I would have liked to see also this pony wall being removed and have more of the spindle so that it can feature more of the open space as you climb up to the second floor. And let's start with this area, which is the loft. This will be a flex space that you can use for a media center, uh, a study area. Um, it could likely be your hangout place. We have plenty of outlets as well and all of the uh, hookups for your internet which are inside the outlet slot. So there are a total of three guest bedrooms in the entire house. And as far as how big they are, they are 11 by 12. And you could easily fit a queen size bed with the two nightstands and still being able to have access to views of the backyard. And you have also a by fold, two by fold doors with plenty of room for a chest and also your long hands. So let's go ahead and head over to the Grand Suite. Now, if we transition into the Grand Suite, the height is gonna be about eight feet tall. In your Grand Suite, you'll be able to fit your California bed along with the nightstands and a seating area here on my right side. You can set up a seating area or a table to use it as a workspace. Now let's go ahead and transition over to the grand bathroom. And on my left, we have the standing shower with the frameless shower glass doors and the stainless steel shower head, the tub, and a Jack and Jill barn sink, along with an eight feet countertop with uh, plenty of cabinet space. As we get into the walk-in closet, uh, you'll see all of this blue tape that is around the window frame and you may already be familiar with it and it's mainly because we're doing our final walkthrough uh, for an amazing family who secured this property two and a half weeks ago and so all of this blue tape basically shows likely any defective parts in the property aesthetically that are uh, an eyesore and so that's where they are for and they will be corrected by uh, main use contractors. Now we have plenty of racks, mainly for your short hangs. And on my left, right where Barry's standing, eh, we have the top uh, rack for your long hangs. And I like the fact that we have this window eh, facing east. And so this is where the sun will rise every morning and you don't get to really see as many walk-in closets with a window. In fact, for most of the tours that we've done with new construction, uh, it's very rare that we have this feature uh, being conceptualized for new construction companies out here in the area. But I certainly appreciate the fact that we have plenty of sunlight, especially now being close to midday and having the sun illuminate the entire walk-in closet and also the grand bathroom as we transition towards the west side of the house. If you're relocating to Washington State or a local resident looking for new construction options, here's an overview of the different construction sites presented by Mainview. Mainview has several communities surrounding the greater Seattle area, starting up north from Blaine, going south to Lake Taps, west in Port Orchard, and east to North Bend each with properties going from the high 900,000s. You'll find different floor plans such as the Gardenia, Palmetto, Abelia, Birch, starting in the mid 900s going all the way up to the 1.5 million. For those of you craving the full experience to truly craft the variety of floor plans, the customization potential through upgrade options, and to witness the impeccable finish of your new home, there is nothing like quite stepping into the world of model homes in Kent. At the time we recorded this video, Mainview offers a free home package limited time offer, which includes a $30,000 bonus which can be used as seller's concessions for closing costs or buying discount points, a free appliance package plus $5,000 for blinds. Here is the kicker. Working with a seasoned real estate agent makes a great difference when representing you on the purchase of your next property. The family we supported in moving forward with the purchase received all of the benefits outlined in the Mainview free home package, plus an additional $10,000 in concessions, 
and we got them lined up with a lender that had at the time a half percent lower rate than what they got through their own efforts. And that's a wrap. If you're navigating through your choices and feeling uncertain about the right areas, communities, financing options, or offer strategies, we're here to guide you. Clicking the link in the description below to connect with our team, I would love to assist you in making an informed decision. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss out on our upcoming videos. See you next time.